As most of us know, MailChimp's now made their automation system free for all. That's great, but it's also important now to figure out how to set it up, how to customize it so it works best for your business or your client's business. This video will better help you as you figure out how to customize it and what are the potential specifically with products and e-commerce. Before showing you how to set up this e-commerce um, automation for just a single product through MailChimp, I want to just go ahead and show you some of the options that they make available in their templates. Um, the first bit you can see here is there's a uh, Product retargeting, that's just with Shopify. There's abandoned carts. Um, it's going to be a very popular one. And then further down the line, we have a ban um, specific products that you can do. So if you have a specific product and you want an email to go out when it's been purchased, that's what this is for. Um, there's also best customers. So MailChimp has a star rating for customers. When they click on your emails and open your emails, they get higher stars. So they can also set that up. There's, you'll, we'll show in a bit here. You can better customers have more buys. <clears throat> Maybe they bought more of your product or more um, times they've bought from you. So those options are available. We'll give a more detailed image of that. After you've selected the template you want to use, you'll see something that looks similar to this. We picked the first purchase that a customer makes to have a sequence of emails come out after them. And most of the sequences have three emails um, already built in with some. Uh, default triggers that you can see here um, and the first triggers after an hour of the subscriber purchases anything from the store and then 10 days and 20 days so the next thing you'll see is this spot where you'll then enter in your information your email subject line basic information and then pick a theme for each email in the email sequence or the campaign and this is where we'll be able to drag and drop either the text the images um, you can upload a new image or add ones you already have in MailChimp to your template. Make sure to always save and close before going on. But this is the part that's cool is where you can go into their template and drag in a product. Um, and this shows the products straight from your store. So for us, we have WooCommerce linked to our MailChimp account and it will show the image, the title, the price of the product and these are products that are related to the product the person bought so if we sold and they purchased a website related product they're going to see here two other um, products of ours that have that cat that same category that uh, we're trying to help upsell them on obviously so you have a bunch of different settings you can change the button um, title price things like that that you can play around with but that's the main es essence here of um, of some great features that are automated and look terrific for a first part first purchase of a product from one of your customers. All right, the last piece that you're gonna to wanna to see here is how it looks. So this is an actual email that we sent. We did our own uh, test purchase through the website and we had these two products come up. You can click the order button and it takes you straight to uh, the web page to order. And um, that's it really. This has been a tutorial just for e-commerce and products and doing automation through MailChimp Automation, if you like it, subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching.